hot out here. What? Oh no, my wife kicked me out of the house, so I have to build my computer out here. That's all right, man, have a good day. My wife didn't kick me out of the house. My kids did. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the sixth episode of the Build Up Challenge and the first episode here in sunny Florida. Now, you will have to excuse the fact that I am doing this episode on a porch. I am waiting for the closing date to come in for our, my new house. So until then, this beautiful backdrop is just gonna have to do. But this computer right here is going to be our project for today. We are going to be taking this non-functioning computer and turning it into a very beautiful gaming system that we're gonna try and sell and make a little bit of money off of. Now, if you are new to the series, this is where we take older computers that I find around town, we clean them up, give them a little TLC, maybe a few upgrades, and then we try and sell them for a profit so that I can add those funds together and I can build an epic gaming computer that I'm just gonna give away to one of you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about today's flip for just a moment. Now, this is obviously not a functioning computer because it is missing quite a few pieces of hardware to make this old girl run, but it does have a 7600K processor, a B250M motherboard, and it's inside of an older Cooler Master case. And that's it. That's all you get. But I think that for a total cost of only $80, this is a pretty good start for a pretty awesome gaming computer. And coupled along with all of the Amazon Prime Day deals that were going on not too long ago, I think that this computer is going to be a pretty awesome gaming system once we finish. Now, due to the fact that my work area today is my daughter's coloring and Play-Doh station, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip forward to all of the upgrades we're gonna be putting inside of this shell here. So as you can see in front of me, this computer is going to be getting quite a few upgrades because it's just a motherboard and a CPU inside of a case. Now, for starters, we are going to be using this Pure Rock 2 CPU cooler by Be Quiet. I've never used Be Quiet brand, uh, but I hear great things and I'm excited to see how well this cooler works with an overclocked K-series CPU because we will be putting an overclock on that CPU just to try to get as much performance out of it as we possibly can. We're gonna be putting 16 gigabytes of DDR4 Corsair Vengeance RAM. Now the motherboard inside of here does have support for an M.2 so we will be putting a one terabyte silicon power NVMe storage drive on there so that it's nice quick storage and it's enough storage so you can have, you know, whatever games you'd like on there. It is also going to be getting an RX 6600 GPU. The deal that this that there was on this GPU was fantastic and nobody would want to pass that up. And we have some RGB fans here to match the two RGB fans that are already in the case so that we get a nice look because I appeal is by appeal when it comes to doing this. Now with all of the hardware in front of me, plus what already came inside of the system, we should have a pretty powerful computer that can play pretty much any game that's out right now. Maybe not at ultra settings, but it still will be capable of playing whatever you'd like. But now it is time for you guys to relax in your nice, I'm sure, air conditioned rooms while I sit out here and sweat out every ounce of liquid in my entire body so that we can get this thing built for your viewing pleasure.
so I don't think that I have ever seen my ankles sweat before. It's unbelievably hot. So if you could do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel right now, that would be appreciated because I probably lost 10 pounds just for this video. Now in just a second here, I'm gonna hit the power switch for this computer to see if the system will post for us. But before I do that, I did wanna talk about the computer that we built in episode five. Now two days before I was scheduled to move all the way down here to Florida, a guy contacted me and said that he was interested in purchasing it from me. So I had to dig it back out of my moving truck so that I could get it ready to sell for him. He did pay $280 for a system that we built for $230. So we didn't make a ton of money off of it, but it was still a profit. And that brings our total bankroll back up to $1,142 towards the Epic system that I'm going to give away to one of you guys. And we still have to sell this computer right here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this computer on we're gonna see if we get a post from it, and then after I go ahead and test some games with this system, we are going to meet back afterwards so that we can give you the grand total of how much it costs to build this system and how much we're gonna try and sell it for. All right, so let's push this button and figure out if we did a good job or not. Ooh, those RGB lights look pretty good. Let's see about an image. Okay, is that an image? It's giving an image. All right, hold on, I gotta show you because it is posting, can you see? That's all you get, <laughs> just, just a couple lines of text. But it posts, so let's go ahead, put some windows on here, and let's play some games. So you guys are going to have to excuse the wardrobe change. My last outfit was soaking wet from all the sweat that has poured out of me while putting this computer together. But I really think, wait a second, I never did my sexy montage. Oh, okay, hold on one second. Now, when it comes to this computer right here, I really only have 
two issues with it, and they are purely cosmetic. Now, the fans that are in the front, I would have much rather mounted them on the outside of the case so that they were closer to this uh, you know, see-through glass panel. But unfortunately, when you do that, you're only able to fit two fans because of the placement of where your power button and your reset switch and USB ports are. So instead of just running the two fans in the front, I did want to have all three, so we put them on the inside. Not the biggest deal, but it's definitely an issue that I see. The other problem is with the top fans, we weren't able to get power to operate the RGB. Now they do function properly and they're doing a good job of dispelling heat from the case, but I would need a dual RGB to single RGB fan cable uh, in order to power the RGB on these fans. And I simply do not have that here. I own it, but it is tucked away in storage somewhere. So I was not able to add that to the system. But all in all, this was a very good computer and it was a lot of fun to play games on it. I literally just changed and I already feel like this shirt is getting covered in sweat. And it's about to rain, so now it's just ungodly human. Feels like I'm still in the shower. So let's go over what it took to make this computer possible. Now for the original system, which was just a motherboard, a CPU, and a case, we did pay $80. For the NVMe that is in here, we paid $37. The RAM that is in here, the 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM was $38. The 6600 GPU ran us $180. The 700 watt power supply was $44. And the Be Quiet CPU cooler was $44 as well, bringing the grand total total to build this system to $423, which is by far, I think the most expensive flip computer that we have put together on the channel so far. So the total amount of money that we've earned from the first five flips on this series was $1,143. Now, after building this system right here, that brings our grand total back down to $720, but I am going to list this computer on Facebook Marketplace for $600, and hopefully we get around $550, $560 after we negotiate a price, because most people try to negotiate you down when they're trying to buy anything on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I also would love to hear what your thoughts are on this computer, and if you think that it is worth $600, let me know in the comment section below if you think that that is an unreasonable price, or maybe I should be charging more for these things. But that is going to do it for our first episode here in sunny Florida. I do have lots of fun content lined up for when I get my studio, but until then, no matter where you are in the world, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.